What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at Stripe from Gremlins. This is a Medicom toy. These came out just recently, at least this one did. The other few that you can see on the back of the box have been out for a minute. But we are going to take a look at Stripe today. I picked him up. I collect mostly uh, 1 10th and 112 scale figures. I've got a bunch of the NECA Gremlins, but those guys are 6 inches by themselves, so they don't scale very well with other action figures. I can't put them with my McFarlane Superman or my Spider-Mans. But this guy, he's about three inches tall, which makes him perfect scale in my mind for those other action figures. So having gremlins that are in scale with my other action figures is awesome. So this is five minutes or less. I'm Mark. This is Prime Toy Media. Let's get into the package and see what the ultra detail figure is all about. Now, normally I don't care about the package too much. I do kind of want this card because if I can find the rest of these guys on the back of the box, I'm going to pick them up. I've seen some of them on some Japanese import sites and I've seen some on eBay for more money than I want to pay right now. So until I get them all, I'm going to be a little more difficult, be a little bit more delicate with the packaging. So here is Stripe. If you don't know who Stripe is, he was the main bad gremlin in the original movie back in 84. Does, he's got a little articulation. These are stiff. Uh, I want to bend his elbow or his arm, but it's giving me some trouble. And I've had a history of cracking the joints apart and actually breaking the peg in there. So I'm going to heat him up in some water later on off camera. But for right now, let's just take a look at what makes him an ultra detailed figure. So that sculpt is pretty cool. I mean, there's no denying that that's Stripe from the Gremlins. I'm trying to remember how much variation there was. Uh, you can see his head's kind of a darker color than the rest of his body. And I don't remember that being the case in the movie. I'll have to go back and watch. You know, he's got definitely a more of a brown body on this figure uh, with the darker fronts and the darker head. But if that turns out to be the way he was, then awesome. Uh, nice tan stomach. Legs look like they move as well, but they might not. Again, I don't want to break him right out of the package. Uh, he's too cool for that, but I do like him and I do think he's going to scale well with other figures having a gremlin popping around the diorama and seeing what kind of mischief he can get into. If you have a source for any of the other ones that are on the package here, uh, I'd love to get a hold of the gizmo in the car, the regular gizmo and the mohawk for sure packaging doesn't really state whether or not they are articulated or if they're just ultra detail figures so you know what it may not bend or have that movement that we're looking for but either way he still looks really cool and i'm glad i picked him up from big bad toy store if i remember correctly so if you want to see more of these five minute reviews or less, let me know in the comments, uh, give the video a like and hit subscribe. After that, I'm out of here. See ya.